In today's video, we'll be doing a review of two of the most popular AI copywriting softwares in the market, Writer AI and Word Hero AI. Specifically, we'll be taking a look at the pricing, the templates, the features, and quality of output between both AI copywriters. And stick around because at the end of this video, I'll be rating both Writer AI and Word Hero and give my suggestion as to what I believe is the best AI copywriter between both of them. Let's first start the comparison by looking at the pricing differences between both Writer AI and Word Hero AI. Writer AI starts with a free plan, so you wouldn't have to pay anything to get started with Writer, but their first paid plan is $9 per month, and this gets you 50,000 characters each month. And for $29 per month, this will get you unlimited characters uh, generated each month. So these are really, really good pricing. And if you compare this to other AI copywriters, it's definitely on the lower end. And within all of these plans, you have access to the long form assistant and all of the different tools and features included in Writer AI. Now, if I were to take a look at Word Hero, we can see that the monthly plan, if you were to pay um, monthly, is $49 per month. Now that's 49 USD per month. So this is obviously a little bit higher than Writer AI, but again, you have access to all of the features and tools and templates, and you also have unlimited copy for $49 per month. And again, if we compare this to other AI copywriters in the market, such as Jasper AI, this is definitely on the lower end for unlimited AI copywriting. If we took the face value of both Writer AI and Word Hero AI plans, it would be pretty obvious that Writer AI has a better pricing structure. Normally, Writer AI would be a better option, but at the time of recording this video, Word Hero has a unlimited lifetime deal on AppSumo. So for $89, a one-time payment, you'd be able to have unlimited copy and you'd be able to have access to all of the different tools, but I believe you would have to pay extra for the long form assistant. So it would be $89, plus a one-time fee of $60, and that will get you an unlimited lifetime deal for Word Hero AI. So for a one-time payment of $150, you would have access to a lifetime unlimited deal for Word Hero AI. Now, obviously, when we compare that to Writer AI, Word Hero's lifetime deal from AppSumo would be a better option long-term. So if you're using an AI content writer for more than six months um, onwards, then it would make sense to get a lifetime deal because in the long run, you'd be saving money. If we were to just look at the monthly prices on the Writer AI and Word Hero website, then I would have to go with Writer AI for the monthly regular plans. But if the lifetime deal is still available, then I would definitely go with Word Hero um, for pricing. So it really depends on the plans that's available. If there is no lifetime deal currently available, then I think the Writer AI plans um, is a little bit better. But if the lifetime deal is available, then this is a much better option. I'll leave a link in the description below for all of the plans for Writer AI and Word Hero. And if the lifetime deal is still available, I'll leave a link in the description below. And just before we continue the review, I wanna let you guys know that we're doing another AI giveaway for the month of March. Last month was Writer AI, and this month I'll be giving away a free unlimited lifetime deal to Word Hero AI. All you have to do is follow the link in the description below, enter your name and email, and you'll join my email list. And at the end of the month, I'll send out an email with the winners. So if you wanna go ahead and enter, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now that we've went through pricing, let's go ahead and take a look at the templates included in Writer AI and Word Hero AI. In order to find the different templates included in Writer AI, you just wanna go ahead to choose use case, and this will give you all of the different templates um, that's available in Writer AI. Now, if you wanna go ahead and look through them, you would find that there's different templates for different scenarios in which you're writing about. So if you are doing a call to action, you can go ahead and choose that template. If you're doing a copywriting framework, such as an AIDA or a PAS framework, you can go ahead and choose that right there as well. You have landing page and website copies, product descriptions, SEO meta descriptions, so on and so forth. So these are pretty standard templates that are included in most AI copywriters. 
So it's nice that you have a variety to choose from on Rider AI. Now, if we head over to Word Hero, again, we can see that there's many, many different types of templates that we can choose from. And very similar to Rider AI, there's a lot of different templates for different scenarios, uh, just depending on what you're writing about. But I do like in Word Hero that they sort of separate them by category. So we have marketing templates, we have social media templates, we have writing tools, and we have miscellaneous templates as well. And a lot of them are very standard templates, but I do like in Word Hero that you get a much more variety um, in terms of sheer number of templates available. And while both AI copywriters have very similar templates, I do see that on Writer AI, there isn't a content rewriter template. You can rewrite the content while you're writing in the long form editor, but there's no template in which you can choose and then put in some content and then have the AI rewrite the content. And the content rewriter is available in Word Hero. So this can be a very useful template and I don't see that available currently in Writer AI. So because of the sheer number of templates included in Word Hero and some of the more specific templates like the content rewriter, I'd give Word Hero a score of 4.5 out of 5 and Writer AI a score of 4 out of 5 in terms of templates. Now let's look at the most important factor to consider when comparing two AI copywriters and that is the quality of output that you can expect. Let's go ahead and compare some content that we get from both Writer AI and Word Hero and we'll be writing a blog post about meditation and the benefits of meditation uh, as a beginner. So starting with Writer AI, I'm going to update the section topic and enter some keywords and I'm going to go ahead and click write for me. And as you can see, we get three different variations of content for meditation. So all of them actually seem pretty good on the surface. Let's go ahead and take a look quickly at what they're talking about. So meditation is a practice of sitting quietly and focusing on your breathing. There are many ways to meditate. You can sit cross-legged on the floor in a chair with your hands resting on your knees or using any other position that feels comfortable. And the third paragraph looks like it's most um, relevant to an intro paragraph. So it talks about in this article, we'll discuss the basics of meditation as well as how to start meditating as a beginner. So because this sounds more like an intro paragraph, I'm going to go ahead with this um, for the intro. But again, we got some pretty decent content from Writer AI for this blog post topic. Now, the first difference that I noticed when getting content from Writer AI and Word Hero is that there is no blog intro uh, template. It's just sort of the blog section writing template. While on Word Hero, we have a blog intro. So I'm going to go ahead and use this specific template because I find that when you use the templates, you're able to get a little bit of better content. But let's go ahead and test out that theory and see if we can get some better content. So I've entered the topic. Let's go ahead and click right for me and see what sort of content we get. Okay, so these are the different variations of content that we get from Word Hero. There are many reasons to start meditation. For beginners, it can be difficult to know how to start and what the benefits are. Meditation is a practice that has been around for centuries and has many benefits on the body and the mind. Okay, talks a little bit about the history of meditation. And this one sort of talks about actually starting to meditate. So I think the first two outputs are pretty good. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and read through these and choose whichever one I like the best. Okay, so I think the middle paragraph is sort of the most relevant for a intro paragraph. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. And right off the bat, I can see that both Writer AI and Word Hero while they gave us pretty decent content, it's sort of short. So I'm going to use the feature that allows us to expand the content and let's see if the quality will also be good. So as you can see, when we expanded writing, we got some more content about what meditation is. So that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for Word Hero. Okay, so as you can see, we get a couple more sentences here and I do like that it actually talks about um, are expanded upon this actual sentence and it also started a new um, paragraph which talked about what meditation is. Now that we have some content for the intro, let's go ahead and generate a blog post outline for this topic. I'm going to go ahead and change this to the blog idea and outline template and we're going to paste the primary keyword and click right for me. And I'm going to head back over to Word Hero and do the same thing. And we get a pretty good outline from Writer AI. You can always change the number of variations that you like just to get some more options to work with, but this is pretty much spot on as to what we're writing about. And if we head over to Word Hero, we get a pretty decent outline, but I do like that it's a little bit longer 
and it actually has some subtopics included already. So it gives us a more detailed outline for our blog post. The only thing that I don't really like is that you have to copy each one of these individually and then paste it on um, to the long form blog post. So here's a quick comparison of the outline that we got from Writer AI and from Word Hero AI. We have our intro, our benefits, our getting started tips, and then our conclusion. But I also like that Word Hero gives us a lot more information, but the problem is it gives us an intro. It talks about what meditation is, the benefits, but there is no conclusion. But again, that's not really a big deal because we can always go ahead and get a conclusion by using one of the templates. Let's go ahead and compare the blog post content that we can expect from both Writer AI and from Word Hero AI. So in order to get content, the best way is to copy the keywords and the title in Writer AI and hit the paragraph button. You can also go ahead and copy the title and the keyword, head over to blog section writing and paste in the topic and the keyword and go ahead and click write for me as well. Now, if you wanted to get some content for a paragraph in Word Hero, you wanna go ahead and copy the title and we're going to use the templates on the left hand side, specifically the blog paragraphs. So again, what are the benefits of meditation? And for the keywords, we're gonna go ahead and enter the keywords um, that we found for this blog post. And as you can see, this is the content that we got. So you wanna go ahead and copy that and paste that in there. I do like that we get um, some pretty decent length in terms um, of how long the content is. And as you can see, we got some pretty relevant content for the benefits of meditation. Another way in which you can get content is by hitting the blog paragraph and this will write you some content for that specific section. Now, sometimes you wanna be careful with this method because if you're not giving any input, the AI will write a little bit irrelevant content. So I like to use the sections or the templates on the left-hand section. By just doing one example like we did in this video, we're not going to really get the full essence or quality of each AI copywriter. But I've used both of these AI copywriters pretty extensively, and I would say that Word Hero has a little bit of better content when compared to Writer AI. You're also able to get more length in terms of content when using Word Hero. So for that reason, I'll give Word Hero a score of 4.5 out of 5, and Writer AI a score of 4 out of 5 when it comes to quality of the AI content. Now let's talk about ease of use. When it comes to both of these AI copywriters, they can definitely be improved in terms of how beginner friendly or easy to use they are. Compared to other AI softwares such as Jarvis or Jasper AI and Brainwork, I find that Writer AI and Word Hero are a little bit less intuitive to use compared to both of those softwares. So for that reason, I'll give Writer AI a score of 4.0 out of 5 and Word Hero a score of 3.5 out of 5 in terms of ease of use. Overall, I would give Writer AI a total score of 20 out of 25. It's a very good but affordable AI copywriter in which you can expect to get some decent quality content for your blog post. And for Word Hero, I'll give them a little bit of a higher rating of 21 out of 25. If you're able to grab the lifetime deal, then it's an absolute steal and the quality of the AI content is pretty good and you can write some pretty high quality content using their long form editor. I'll leave a link for both Writer AI and Word Hero AI in the description below. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the near future. Until next time, stay well.